What a great, great evening. I, uh, you know, the very first thing I want to say from up here, uh, because I have the mic so I can say anything I want to, is you guys look beautiful tonight. <laughs> you look stunning, really. And, you know, it's overwhelming to stand up before you tonight because of what this award means. The Security Benefit Corporation Award for Outstanding Service to Public Education. You know, everybody at First Book, everybody is utterly dedicated to schools and to teachers. So we're tremendously and personally honored by this award and recognition. And I want to particularly thank Security Benefit Corporation. I really do. You know, the support for First Book this evening and the support to the NEA Foundation, it's important for all of us who are parts of those organizations, those institutions, but it means so much more than that. It's support for the millions and millions of children who we all support every single day. So thanks so very much, Mark. But, you know, there is another reason why it's intimidating to be up here in front of you guys tonight. And that's because of who you guys are. And I, here's the thing, you know, I'm in on the big secret. I know the big secret. I'm, I'm on to you guys. Teachers are superheroes. And, now, you know, I know, I know, I know you're going to deny it. I know you're going to deny it. But here's the thing. The evidence has been piling up since I was a young kid. You know, I had Mrs. Evans was my first grade teacher, and she could hear me misbehaving through <laughs> solid brick walls, okay? And then there was Mrs. Throp, who I had in third grade, and Mrs. Throp could predict the future. She had, you know that little section on the grade card that says teacher's comments? Mrs. Throp wrote in there, Kyle talks and laughs too much. <laughs> and too and much were in all caps. So she was deadly serious about this problem. And the truth is, she was completely correct because this has been a problem my entire life. <laughs> Um, if only I had paid attention to Mrs. Thrupp. And then years later, you know, a little kid ran up when my son was in preschool. He ran up to me, and he leaned over, and he kind of went like this. Mrs. Mueller is Spider Woman. <laughs> and I don't know what he was talking about, but I was pretty careful around Mrs. Mueller for the rest of that year, because I think he was onto something, too. But, you know, the truth is, when we started First Book just over 20 years ago, when we started, it was because of that. It was because we recognized what heroes you guys are. I was volunteering in a soup kitchen in the evenings, uh, and every time I would go there, the place would fill up with 50 or 60 kids. And they had great big smiles, and they had lots of energy, and we didn't have that much to offer them. You know, we didn't have books, and they didn't have books at home. And that started eating at me. And so I read the research, and then I did something really important. I started spending time in local schools here in Washington, D.C. And what I saw completely blew me away. I saw you working endlessly. I saw you being patient when I knew you were as exhausted as I was. And I saw you utterly devoting yourself to children. And it was there that we decided to devote the rest of our lives to building a supply pipeline of books and the highest quality resources straight to the heroes of our story. So, <laughs> thanks. And, you know, here we are more than 20 years later and more than 100 million books later. And what an honor to be up before you this evening. It's just extraordinary. But I do want to ask you a favor. I want to 
I want to underline something that was in the video. If you work in a Title I school, if you volunteer with children in need, please register with First Book. You can do it right on the website, firstbook.org. It is free to register. The bigger we build what we're doing, the more resources we can provide. It's critically important. So finally, a big thank you to the NEA, a tremendous organization with tremendous heart. And particularly to the NEA Foundation, Harriet Sanford and her wonderful, wonderful team. You guys have been tremendous supporters, you've been cheerleaders, you've been advocates, and I can't possibly thank you enough. Thanks so much. Thank you.